Researchers found that daytime naps may be beneficial to your future health with uh, things uh, linked to lowering risks of dementia and other diseases. We have uh, Dr. Eric Griggs joining us now, a health educator with more on that. Good morning, Dr. Griggs. Good morning. And so when we're talking about sleep, I know that uh, you know a lot of people like to take naps, and I know we may have talked about this in the past, the, the duration of your daytime naps can be a thing. But this study here obviously tells us that you know, getting some type of nap during the day, especially if you aren't getting enough nighttime sleep, can be beneficial. Well, it was it was a large study, 35,000 people over the course of four years, ages 40 to 69. And what they found is that people that took short naps, five to 15 minutes, up to 20, um, tended to have a s smaller, small but st statistically significant larger brain volume over time, which can lead to lengthening, uh, lengthening life. And, you know, I'm, people like myself, and I know you, you work a lot and you're always doing something, and I know that naps for people like us and people like who get up early on the morning newscast, a lot of us nap a lot because you just kind of have to. Um, you got to fit it in where you can. But you've, we've talked about, there, is there any, is, are there any negatives to the duration of your daytime nap? If you're going to lay down during the day and try to get a power nap in, there's a difference between that and then just sleeping for several hours. Yeah, there's a difference between... Uh, longer than 20 minutes can be, and in the time of day that you take that um, can interfere with your nighttime sleeping and studies have shown it's that's why I say it's science they're studying both sides that people that take increased naps extended naps uh, tend to have higher risk of high blood pressure stroke and possibly dementia so it's a fine line that you got to dance got it and so this study what does this study say you know uh, about how you should kind of um, you know, I guess uh, parcel out your, your daytime naps, if you would, to get the, to get the positive benefits. Because again, this is a study we're talking about that gives you the pot. There are some positive benefits to those daytime naps, but you kind of want to, <laughs> I guess, try to schedule them the best you can. Yeah, you want to schedule them earlier, not too late in the afternoon, uh, so as to throw off your circadian rhythm. The amount of uh, melatonin in the pineal gland, uh, which detects light, can be thrown off. You don't want to do that, and you don't want to sleep long, a nap longer than about 20 minutes. Got it. And then, know that uh, does daytime napping during the day, uh, we talked about that, does it impact your nighttime sleeping? That's what you're trying to avoid. You want to get good nighttime REM sleep as well. Yeah, you want to get nighttime sleep uh, and go through four, four stages, four cycles of the four stages of sleep. REM sleep is important, but stage three sleep is what's really important. That's when your body heals. Uh, mm -hmm. that deep, deep sleep. So you just want to be careful, time it right, and don't sleep too long. Got it. Well, Dr. Grease, we always appreciate you coming on, talking about naps this much. I kind of want to go grab one, but I got to keep working. Maybe I'll grab one later today. Now knowing what I know, uh, but appreciate you as always, Dr. Grease, for joining us. <laughs>